Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel. I am actually doing this reading <laughs> from my bed, guys. So here we go, all right? All right, and I'm using my yoga mat, <laughs> you know, just to keep it, I guess, neat. I don't know what you can see. I guess we'll find out after I do it, right? After I post it. All right, guys. I hope you can see me. I don't know. Well, I hope you can see the cards. All right, guys. This is going to be the overall energy for your person. And for your divine masculine. I prayed. I saved. I did all of that. I even used my Florida water. <laughs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Oh. Can you pull in the energies of these divine masculines? Here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. message from last night? <laughs> oh, we're about to find out. Okay. Alright, guys. I don't know if you can see that. But the first card out is the Temple Path. Then it's the, the Adjusted Possibilities. And then the first chakra, Arch Archangel Michael. So the temple path is, they're giving this option to, I think I read it last night. The temple path is, they have an option to, to move, you know, to make moves. They're in their spiritual purpose and they need support. So it said they're on a winding path that will lead them to a blessed temple in a lovely garden symbolizing the spiritual destiny that their soul has in mind for them at this lifetime. So this card here is telling your masculine that what they're going through right now is all a part of the soul's process and that they are on a karmic path, which is heading them in the right direction. And the choices that they make now are very important for them and for their personal growth and for their life lessons. So hopefully your masculine will take heed to this. <laughs> well, hopefully he is on this journey he probably is. He's digging. He's going within. And he's figuring it all out. And what he figured out was he has possibilities. He has endless possibilities. All types of possibilities. Like the world is his oyster if he so chooses. You know. But he has to make a move. <clears throat> and he's not. He needs to consider all of his options. Because sometimes the force of habit will keep you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happier choices. So right now, this masculine is staying, staying stuck out of habit and out of choices and out of, you know, what he's been used to. Yet every moment gives him another option uh, to choose a different door. So this masculine has a lot of doors to choose. He really does. It's like, masculine, what are you going to do? Are you going to choose to stay stuck? It's almost like it's the indecision. He's like, he doesn't know what to do. But he needs to consider the many life choices that are available to him at this time. So he can just feel more and more empowered and more and more motivated. So there's a lot of doors open to your mask, and he just doesn't know what to do. He needs to come out of that that little temple there. Like, come out of there. Like, you prayed up, masculine, you're good. You prayed up, you're good. All right, so this is first chakra, Archangel Michael. And you know Michael don't play. He don't play. You need him, you better call on him. <laughs> you need work done. You need that dirty job done. Call on Michael. Michael don't play. <laughs> <laughs> he don't care. He don't care at all. All right. Michael was telling you to make this move masculine because this will bring you stability and security. Okay. So this is the place where, this is where your sense of stability and security is stored. So when this card is in the upright, it reveals that your masculine's energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Even if they've had problems with feeling insecure in the past, these challenges are beginning to be resolved at, your time, at this time. So your masculine was probably feeling insecure because of everything that's been going on. If these are the same energies of what I've been reading, your masculine has been dealing with a lot of things. So they've been feeling a little insecure. So your, your masculine needs to know that they need to remain, their first chakra is to open. And it needs to remain in a perfect, healthy state. The masculine, you need to know that you're strong, you're stable, you're safe, and you're secure. 
and that Archangel Michael will guide you and support you always. So make sure, masculines, if you're watching this video, feminines, if you're not scared to tell your masculines about this connection, tell them. Because I know sometimes the masculines, they run away. <laughs> you tell them this shit, they be like, I'm out. I'm out. You hear me? I'm out. All right, let's see. Let's check some romance real quick for this. Check on your person's heart space. All right, masculine. All right, so these masculines are in codependency, and they they need to know that they deserve love. So codependency is staying in this temple path, which really isn't your masculine's path. It's like they're choosing to stay there. They're choosing to honor other people other than themselves. So they're addicted to certain things, but whatever it is, it it. it not necessarily drugs. It could be people. It could be money. It could be things. It could be a lifestyle. Whether you're unhappy, it's almost like you stay there out of fear instead of moving forward. So your masculine is in a codependency state. He's kind of stuck there, but he doesn't want to be there, which is crazy. And your masculine needs to know that he deserves love. You know, and I was telling you there, you know, you need to love yourself, masculine. You just need to do. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is this outcome for these masculines here? What's the outcome spirit for these masculines? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the outcome for these masculines here? Come on, you gotta fall out. I want you to fall or completely flip. Thank you. All right, this masculine, they want a union. They want a union with someone. Because where they're at currently, it's not happiness. They're not happy there. They're in a codependent relationship. Meaning they're in a place where they don't want to be. They're there because of fear. They're there because of money. They're there because of support. They're there because they think they need to be there. They're there because they're not loving themselves fully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the person is ending this path here. Whatever this is. Because they want emotional fulfillment. Nine of Cups. They want emotional fulfillment somewhere else. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify this Nine of Cups here. Yeah, their heart was broken. They're healing their heart. I guess once they come out of this union here, they're going to heal their heart. And they're trying to get to whatever fulfills them emotionally. Yep. This masculine is in his power. He's a magician. So he has everything that he needs to go forward. He needs to call on Michael and stop playing. He has everything he needs to go forward. Spirit is like, look, I'm working with you right now, but I got a lot of other people I need to work on. It's like, you better take this. I got a lot of other people I need to work on. Look, Spirit said, be hopeful. Spirit is telling your person, I got you. I got you. You better do it. You better do it. Look what's on the bottom, guys, again. This warm, loving person. This is who this masculine wants. He wants the energy of this Queen of Cups. Warm, loving, giving, motherly embracing, caring, understanding, forgiving, apologetic, uh, listening, foregoing, everything. Like, that's what he wants. That's what he wants. He wants something real. He wants, back in the day when I was young, I'm not kidding anymore. <laughs> oh, gosh, spirit. Mm, look, I guess this is what he's walking away from. He's in his negative energy, King of Swords, and the karmic is in her negative energy, Queen of Pentacles. They whooping each other's ass. <laughs> he wants out. She doesn't want to let him. He wants out. She doesn't want to let him. Spirit is like, look, child, I'm pushing you. Spirit said, I am pushing you. Push him, Spirit. What else? One last card. Two more cards, Spirit said. Spirit said, no, you get two more cards. Spirit said, I'm pushing you out. He goes, because I'm pushing you to this queen of wands here. He goes, where it will be equally yoked and equally balanced. Spirit is telling your person to get the hell up out of there. Spirit said, get the hell up out of there. Stop doing tit for tat. Stop being a bottom feeder. Stop staying low because they're low. When they go low, go high, masculine. When they go low, go high. Okay? Here's your high. 
It's equally yoked. It's equal give and take. It's balance. It's everything. And this one here, she feisty. She's on her shit and she don't play. Which means you got a grown ass woman. She's sexy. She's all those things. She don't play. And she can handle your karmic masculine. You can't handle your karmic. <laughs> but your divine feminine can. Okay? You trust and believe. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm supposed to be sick. Y'all make me sick. All right, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.